What's up guys, another monster here, anothermonsterproductions.com. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use Newtone in FL Studio 20. So Newtone is FL Studio's version of Melodyne and it's a super awesome plugin. Uh, it comes with the signature bundle in FL Studio. So I highly recommend you getting the signature bundle if you're trying to figure out which version to get because it's worth it just for this plugin alone. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, this vocal that I'm gonna be using, this is just the dry vocal of, uh, of something I recorded for my side project. So let's take a listen. I could take you home, but it takes two. We'll watch the sun rise, black turn to blue. So, I mean, it's sounding pretty good, but uh, there's a couple of notes in there that could be cleaned up a little bit, uh, locked in a little bit more. And um, before I do any like compression or processing or anything else, I like to go ahead and get my vocals into new tone, just, you know, clean them up a little bit. So I'll go ahead and show you how to get a new tone loaded up here. First of all, let's go to channel settings here. And um, you can just in insert new tone in any one of these slots here. So now we have our new tone loaded up. And if uh, you can use this button here to load a, a file. Uh, it'll open up your browser and that you can find your file that way and load it into Newtone. This is going to be your edit tool, um, select tool, undo, redo tool, send to piano roll. This is going to save once you're finished with your file. You can save it with that button or you can drag it out to the playlist with this. So like if you click this button and drag it out to here, it'll just bring the file directly to the playlist. Uh, and then this is also send a playlist. So now let's go ahead and drag. Uh, oh, the other other thing you can do too is just drag the file directly in like this, and then it'll analyze it. I could take you. You'll get it in there, and let's go ahead and I guess let's just take a listen again. I could take you home, but it takes two. So it's there's like a little you know, kind of, it could be honed in a little bit more on the note. So how we do that is we center it and you can choose the amount that you want it centered. I'm going to center it hundred percent. Um, so what it does a lot of times is it actually makes the note pop up more than where you want it. So I could take you home. So you gotta be careful. Like that note went higher than where I want it. Take you home, but it takes two. And that note did. So just be careful with that when you're, when you're centering it. And when you scroll in a little bit like this, you'll you'll notice these yellow lines, which is showing you kind of the the vibrato of my natural voice, like where it's going down and up, um, and you'll be able to hear that with it as well. So if you want to clean that up, if you want to go like 100% auto tune, next to centered is the variation, and as I move this, it's going to move it over the whole project. So and then uh, the transpose is going to just you see how the line is still kind of smooth, smooth in here going down. Let me go ahead and play this for you. I could take you home, but it takes two. So if you put the transpose down, it's going to make it jump around even more auto tune sounding. I could take you home, but it takes two. So you hear how like the two is like go, jumps down instead of gliding. So that's what the transpose button does and that's what the variation button does. Now, for this, I want maybe just take down the variation just a tiny bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually zoom into some of these individual places to clean it up. Like this one right here, uh, kind of looks a little, like it swoops down a little bit too much. I could take you home. And if you listen to take, that one, so what I did was I just double clicked on this and now just take is highlighted. So. I'm going to bring the variation, the percentage down by sliding that up like that. Let's take a listen. I could take you home. So now it's it basically, I could take you home. It's getting rid of that defect that I didn't really like on that. Um, and then you can do that for any one of these along here. I mean, you can get crazy with it and just really hone in. I could take you home and clean it up how you like it. I mean, this this plugin really gives you complete control on that. So another cool thing that you can do within this plugin is first of all, this right here, the red and the green on either side is going to let you fade in or fade out. 
So that's pretty cool. This is fade out over here. Um, another cool thing that this plugin does is you can change the formant. And what that's gonna do is like, it, it stays the same note, but if you slide it up, it makes it sound kind of like chip monkey. So I'll play it for you. I could take and then of course you can go the opposite way with it as well. So that's that's pretty cool. I could take so that's really, I mean, that's the basics of what Newtone can do for you. And hopefully uh, that gives you enough information to get started with it. And if you guys found some value out of this video, please go ahead, smash that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification because that's going to let you know when I release other videos. Um, got more tutorials like this coming out soon. So in the meantime, guys, go ahead, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know maybe if you have a suggestion for new videos or new ideas that you want me to do. And until next time, see you in the next video. I was married to the money, but she don't care about that. She used to call me honey, but I don't care for that. I'm just moving to the side, to the side, to the side. She moving to the side, to the side, to the side.